Welcome to Roy High School. Game Night Live is about ready to get rocking right now. A KSL Sports Beat presentation. Game Night Live kicks off now. Presented by Superior Water. Hi there, everybody, and welcome to Game Night Live. Welcome to Roy High School. Jeremiah, tonight a monster showdown in Region 1. Roy and Fremont. When these two get together, man, it usually comes down to the final moment, sometimes the final play. Yeah, we've had some great games between these two teams the last few years. Both teams come in 1-0 in region play. Now, Skyview's going to have something to say about this region race, but this game tonight could determine who wins this region, and it'll give the winner the inside track on doing so. But outside of that, it's a rivalry game, and you can feel the intensity and the energy yeah. right here, right now. These guys are doing an awesome job. It's going to be a fun night. We'll preview this game and the rest of week five schedule in the next half hour. Then at 7 o'clock, we'll have this game for you live on live.ksl.com. But Jeremiah, we've got a number of other top matchups across the state. Let's take a look at our top five matchups brought to you by the Young Automotive Group. Yeah, let's start in Utah County. Pleasant Grove and Lehigh meet for the 59th time tonight. Pleasant Grove has won 15 straight in this series. The last Lehigh win over PG came in 1972. It's been a while. This could be the year for the Pioneer. This could be the year for Pioneers to end that streak. They're led by junior quarterback Cameron Cooper. He's already thrown 19 touchdown passes and just three interceptions in four games. This game also about more than just football. Brittany will join us shortly with more on that story. Now, one of the surprises through the first four weeks, Beaumont Vikings 3-1 overall at 3-1 Syracuse, both 1-0 in Region 2. Beaumont coming off an overtime upset of Davis. Syracuse, after the opening loss to East, they've won three straight wins by an average of 21 points. Now, who's the best team in West Valley City? We're going to find out tonight. That'll be determined when Granger visits Hunter. Granger's 3-1, their only loss is to Lehigh. Hunter 1-3, the loss is to American Fork, Mountain View, Idaho, and Lake. This is always an emotional game. After losing at Alta in the Region 7 opener last week, Tip views at Provo. T-Birds had a 24-6 lead at Alta last week, but then gave up 26 unanswered in the second half. Provo comes in with a 3-1 overall record, 1-0 in Region 7. In the Bulldogs, 45-3 win over Mountain View last week. Their final five touchdowns came on two punt returns, two pick sixes, and a fumble return. Provo receiver Ty Jones, 17th all-time in TD receptions with 17. And Jeremiah... My ears are hurting. <laughs> I can't hear you. I have no idea what you're saying right now. That brings us to this game here tonight. Roy and Fremont. This has turned into a heck of a rivalry over the last decade. When these two get together, you better not leave early because it usually comes down to the final moment and sometimes the final play. I'm excited about this game because, one, it's homecoming. But Angel Arvizo steps in front of Sexton. Uh, two, there's going to be a lot of fans here, not only Roy fans, but Fremont fans as well. And three, I played against these kids since I was young, too, so it's always fun to go against people that you know. It's always been a big rival since I met Fremont was built, so it's just exciting. I'm super excited. I mean, Fremont's our biggest rivals, and then it's also homecoming. It's going to be jam-packed, and it's going to be a great atmosphere to play in. Uh, we've known each other, we've played each other a lot of our lives because we live so close to each other and uh, it's a big time rivalry. This game means a lot. This is probably one of the biggest games of the season. You know everybody on the team you're playing against. You've played with them for the last three years. The Royals have won four straight in this rivalry. However, in the last three meetings, Roy's average margin of victory, a mere four points, including 2013's Hail Mary to win by one. Their line, our offensive line is um, huge. They got some big boys, so they'll uh, be tough. Probably have to take out their running game and their passing game with Hayes Hadley, hell of a player. We're going to take out him as well. So those two players, if we can control them, I feel like we have a really good chance of winning this game. One of the biggest games up to this point in my life, it's going to be wonderful to beat our rival, not only, on, not only to beat our rival, but to beat them on homecoming. It makes it that much more special. We have a great team, and we, I see us going far. We just focus in. I mean, we'll make a good run. So, like, bragging rights growing to grow up after later on, but I'm excited. It's going to be a fun game. All right, we've heard from the players, now the coaches. We have Fred Fernandez of Roy, Corey Boskeeter of Fremont. Guys, here we go again. Roy and Fremont getting together, and this again, like it has done the last four or five years, battle for the top spot in region play. This is turning into a heck of a rivalry. 
Yeah, it is. It's absolutely great, and the atmosphere is going to be great. It's going to be a madhouse tonight. Yeah, Corey, coming in here, you guys have had some exciting finishes between you two. I expect yeah. it's going to be the same kind of game. Yeah. Yeah, I expect it too, so, yeah. No, Coach Boskuter, this uh, this is a rivalry game. It's, it's important for both these schools. You got, it's been a while since your guys have tasted victory in this rivalry. How important is it tonight to get that, not only because it's a region game, but just for the rivalry's sake? Well, it's, we would like to turn that around, obviously. Yeah. So uh, we know they're going to be well prepared, and I think our kids are well prepared if we can just execute what we're capable of doing. Yeah. Now, Coach Fernandez, when you look at their team, obviously uh, they got stars. Austin oh, Freeman, Sexton Morby, and uh, Hayes Hadley, uh, the receiver, one of the top in the state. So how do you try to game plan for these guys with three stars that can hurt you in a lot of ways? It almost makes it impossible. I mean, th those, those are three of the more dynamic guys in the whole state. And, you know, you might be able to take one away, but you can't take all three of them away. Yeah. And Coach, yeah, you're putting up a lot of points this year. And how much, how important is that experience to have these guys back, guys that have been through a lot of battles, and it seems to be paying off right now. For you yeah, guys. yeah, the, these guys have played a lot of a lot of downs in Fremont High School, so we're fortunate to have them, and uh, they've been doing a good job. And there's a lot of guys around doing a good job as well. And Coach Boskeeter, when you look at uh, their team, they don't have the stars that, like you do, per se, but they've got a lot of guys that do a lot of great things. Absolutely, their size is a concern, and that their skill kids are, are very fast and skilled, and they move around, and they do a lot of good things. And Coach Fernandez, when you look at your team, you gotta rely on power and size, not one star, like you've had the past couple of years, but it's kind of a committee kind of thing. Yeah, absolutely it is. Uh, it's, it's 11 guys trying to get their jobs done on, on every play and uh, without one guy standing out. I mean, we've had one yeah. game where we've had 300-yard rushers all yeah. in the same game. So. Yeah. Real quick, Coach Fernandez, the spirit here. I remember when Roy was, I'll be honest with you, it was, it was a team that everybody wanted to schedule because they beat him. Yeah. That's changed. What's it like to have this kind of an atmosphere and this kind of excitement in this community about football again? Uh, you know what? I'm just tickled that this game's home because, yeah, <laughs> we got the 12th man and... and uh, it's going to be crazy tonight. All right, Coach, you ready? Absolutely. Are you ready? Ready. Hey, Royals, are you ready? <laughs> All right, we are about 19 and a half minutes away from kickoff. Game night live will come back with a special story of one beat digger who's about to become the state's all-time leading receiver. Here's the Royals marching band. The world-renowned Big Top Circus Spectacular is coming to the Utah State Fair. See the world's best acts, including artists from America's Got Talent and Cirque du Soleil. Three performances daily, and admission is included with your ticket to the fair. When selection and convenience matter, the Young Automotive Group makes it easy. With four automotive brands within walking distance on Layton's Main Street, you'll have over 600 new Chevrolet, Buick, GMC, and Kia vehicles, plus more than 1,000 pre-owned vehicles to choose from. And the possibilities are endless. Whether you're looking for a new Chevrolet, Buick, GMC, or Kia, the Young Automotive Group in Layton makes it simple and convenient. With four automotive brands in one location, the Young Automotive Group. Think young, drive young. I'm Mia Love and I approve this message. Thousands of commuters rely on this highway, but Doug Owens tried to stop it from being built. Owens teamed up with Rocky Anderson and a radical environmental group to sue Utah and stop the legacy highway in the middle of construction. Their delays cost Utah taxpayers millions of dollars, $92,000 per day wasted. 170 Utahns lost jobs. Doug Owens, he's not on our side. When Larry and I bought our first dealership back in 1979, we really didn't intend to grow beyond that. We just needed to provide for our family. But when we saw that we could provide good, steady employment for so many other people, we recognized an opportunity to go beyond ourselves and do something valuable for other people. We started small, but we were founded on principles and values that still guide us today. How fast are Allegra gel caps? Parties moved outside fast. What a nice surprise, fast. For allergy symptoms, Allegra is the fastest non-drowsy relief you can buy. I'm not missing the hayride fast. Allegra gel caps. Not just fast, Allegra fast. Guaranteed or your money back. Dry mouth can really affect how your mouth feels and how you feel. Discover Act Dry Mouth. 
Specially formulated to soothe and moisturize your mouth, even freshen breath, so nothing holds you back. Act Dry Mouth. Relief when you need it. Here's some good reasons to do business with MyKale Chevrolet. We're now open on Saturdays for parts and service. You save on sales tax. MyKale Chevrolet is rated the highest that you can get in customer satisfaction. MyKale Chevrolet, just a ski jump away in Park City. It's better up here. to Roy High School, just under 17 minutes away from kickoff. The Royals and the Fremont Silver Wolves, the Roy marching band behind it, Jeremiah. The sun is right in our <laughs> eyes, but this is a great game on the field, but something special going on off the field tonight yeah, in Lehigh. I mentioned the Pleasant Grove Lehigh game, and that's a great football game, but there's something bigger than football there tonight. Brittany Copeland has the story from Lehigh. Guys, I'm at the tailgate parking lot here at Lehigh as they're getting ready for their matchup against Pleasant Grove. Lehigh is three and one on the season and they have had at least 40 points scored in every single one of their contests this year. But sometimes, you know what? Football, it goes way beyond that because tonight is very special. They're raising money for a good cause for a student that is going through a lot of health issues at this point of time, a senior. Her name is Shelby Luce. She was diagnosed with leukemia a few months ago, and the football team has something very special in store for her before kickoff. Some kids, like you said, have them on their tape, on their legs, they write them on their back plate, and we actually have a sticker on our helmet right now for her that symbolizes her name and everything. And then tonight we have something special, so everyone's gotta make sure to watch out for that. So does she know that something's happening tonight? Um, I'm not really sure, I don't think she does, but I guess we'll just have to wait and see. And you all, tell me what you're planning, because I understand there's some flowers involved. So we're gonna be walking out of the tunnel and the international color for leukemia is orange. And so we got orange roses, and we're gonna get every football player is gonna give them to her before we go out on the field. Aside from the flowers, the school is also raising money for Shelby during their Miracle Minute, which is at the halftime of this game. Back to you, Rod and Jeremiah. All right, Brittany, thanks so much. That's awesome yeah. what they're doing down there. That's yeah. really special. It's gonna be a special night uh, in Lehigh tonight, that's for sure. All right, there's so many great athletes in this state. We don't have enough time <laughs> to feature all of them, but one we're gonna feature tonight, his name is Spencer Curtis, he's a receiver at Jordan High School. Yeah, his record-setting high school career, very impressive, but what he had to overcome to play his senior year is inspiring. Spencer Curtis is a gifted receiver. Here's proof. He's been a varsity starter at Jordan since his freshman year a key member of one of the highest scoring offenses in the state. It's fun to catch a bunch of touchdowns and catch the ball and get a bunch of yards. He has a chance to break state records in career receptions, yards, and touchdowns. I'm excited to break them if I break them. He's the son of former UNLV basketball player Michael Curtis, and Spencer is good at basketball too. He scored 32 points in a game against Cottonwood last season, but it was basketball where Spencer suffered a serious injury that put his senior year of football in jeopardy. I tore it February 12th against Brighton uh, in, our, in our place. So that was, it was a rough day. It takes most athletes nine to 12 months to recover after an ACL injury. That would cause Spencer to miss his senior year. For him, that was unacceptable. And he went to work determined to be ready by the start of the season. In my mind, I was also like, I gotta be positive about it. Because if you're not positive and you can't get through it, like you're not gonna get through until about like a year. Like, I don't think I'd be playing now if I didn't have a good attitude about it. It went by so quick, but it felt like forever. And you just like, in your mind, you just have to say, I can do it and nothing's gonna stop me to do it. Because if you think you can't, it's never gonna happen. And if you think you can, you're, you're, it's gonna happen. So you always have to have a good attitude. Everybody leave! <laughs> Just three days before Jordan's first game, Spencer was cleared to play. Back from an ACL tear in just six months. Oh, it was the best feeling in the world because all the hard work I felt I did paid off being back in six months, like exactly, and being able to play the first game, it felt like it was the best feeling in the world. Now Spencer's just 32 receptions, 61 yards, and nine touchdowns away from breaking all three career records. 
Through his setback, Spencer learned a valuable lesson, one he wants to share with others. Don't let anything stop them from doing it. Don't let anybody tell you you can't or like, don't get down on yourself, because if you get down on yourself, it's over, like you don't want to do that. You just need to have a good you need to have a good attitude about it. All right, that's pretty incredible, Jeremiah. Yeah, he admits six that months. Yeah, breaking those records uh, means a lot to him, but yep. uh, he made it clear that uh, he wants a championship most of all. Hey, uh, speaking of uh, records or championships, we have a championship uh, burger. This is Big nice. Ben. This is Joe from the Burger Bar. This is a tradition here at Roy High School. You're just down the street, right? Yes, sir, we are. And it's it's famous. Let's show people what uh, everybody at Roy, I mean, you know, I bet Jim McMahon had this back in the day, didn't he? Oh, yeah. I still yeah. see Jim McMahon once in a while up there at the Burger Bar. Yeah, there you go. This is a famous Big Ben, right? Yes, sir, it is. Jeremiah, okay. I gotta have the go Big ben for it, right buddy. now. All right. Here we go. Oh, yeah, watch out for the mic. That. You get all the goodies. There you go. Big Ben. Oh, my gosh. Into the big mouth there, you know, Jeremiah. After 60 years, the burger bar is still the best. I know. Unbelievable. Thank Joe, guys, Joe fed you. us today, so thank you, you very betcha. much. The burger bar right Thanks, at Roy. Joe. If awesome. you ever come to a Roy game or Roy, you've got to stop at the burger bar. So thank you, buddy. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. All right. We're counting down. Nearly 10 minutes away from kickoff. Roy and Fremont. We'll be right back. It's a danger many parents haven't thought about. I had no idea that that was even possible. The KSL investigators check out soccer fields across the state. How many are safe? Hazardous goals. KSL investigates Tuesday at 10. the thrill of the Lexus performance line because the ultimate expression of power is control lease the 2016 is300 all-wheel drive with zero due at signing for 419 a month for 36 months see you on Lexus dealer at Utah online school every student has a unique story I like learning at my own pace but I want to go to school with my friends too with Utah online I can do both the piano is my passion Utah Online lets me keep my mornings free for practice. I get too anxious at school. My grades are up with Utah Online. I plan to graduate early by taking extra classes at Utah Online. Utah Online School is a free public school. How will Utah Online be a part of your story? Great Clips wonders, what would you do with more minutes? Hmm, I'd build the like most tallest treehouse in the world that touch the clouds. I will make a dinosaur out of tacos. I'd open a zoo of 11,000 monkeys. Glasses out of tacos. I'd probably go to Mars or like the moon. I will keep on brainstorming ideas, but that's all I got for now. Save more minutes when you use online check-in to get your back-to-school haircut at Great Clips. It's game on. Time to suit up and save with proven winners from Mr. Mac. Build a strong starting lineup of tailored suits and pants teamed with great looking shirts, ties, and accessories. Mr. Mac will take you from kickoff to victory dance in style. Planning ahead for a mission? Mac will get you to your goal with the missionary starter package, plus affordable bags, coats, luggage, and more. Find unbeatable value at all nine Mr. Mac stores, home of fast, free alteration. It's back to school, and Rossum Reports uncovers some valuable lessons. 16 pounds. 19 pounds. More than 50 grams of sugar. All you need to know for a safe, happy, and healthy school year. Our special series, next week on Today. Welcome back to Roy High School. The parish trooper just <laughs> dropped in. I'm glad he's alive. Oh, boy, he was just <laughs> moving. When he came there, those guys wow. are incredible. Deliver the game ball, and we are counting down the moments to week five of the high school football season here at Roy. Here comes another one. There comes another one. <laughs> All right, the uh, last week, week four, Jeremiah, incredible stuff, record-setting shootout, major comeback against one of the best in the state. Yeah, let's relive it all again in this week's highlight reel.
It's important to keep active, and it's also important to do it right. Here's a quick exercise tip from Dr. Christopher English from Davis Orthopedics and Sports Medicine. Throwing injuries in young baseball players pose a significant risk to healthy joint development. The growth plates in young athletes are still developing and prone to overuse damage, as well as damage to ligaments and cartilage. Appropriate throwing mechanics and pitch counts can prevent injury. If you're experiencing elbow pain when throwing, see your doctor or contact us. As a kid, every summer we'd stay in the same one bedroom house where my dad was raised. He grew up in Panguitch, like his father and grandfather before him. Now I go with my family. We fish, shoot, and have a great time. I want my kids to learn the same values I did from Panguitch. Hard work, living on less, putting service to family and community first. I'm Doug Owens, and I approve this message because those are the values I'll take to Washington. It's sensational. Oh, my. It's inspired. Oh, really? Ah! It's a flawlessly epic announcement of groundbreaking importance. Yeah. That's unforgettably astounding. <laughs> brilliantly breathtaking. Yes! And destined to enrich a world aching for refinement and bedazzlement. I don't even know what that means. You heard it here, America. Frasier is back on the air September 12th on Cozy TV. Everyone knows drinking and driving is stupid. But what you might not know is that texting and driving is equally dangerous. In fact, it's just as deadly as driving at twice the legal alcohol limit. When you're behind the wheel, don't text and drive. NBC Monday. Critics fork and love The Good Place. You are dead. Cool. Ted Danson and Kristen Bell in the best new comedy of the fall. Somebody royally forked up. You can't curse here. That's bullshit. The Good Place, one hour premiere following the premiere of The Voice. This Monday, 8, 7 central on NBC. We're about three and a half minutes from Roy and Fremont kicking off. And we have the Roy mascot over here, a.k.a. Jeremiah. Yeah, you know, they, they need somebody to fill in last minute, Rod. As soon as the show's <laughs> over, I'm out there. I got to perform, so I had to get started a little early. So is that your pick now that you have the Royals mascot? Well, I guess I got to go with it. I'm, I'm halfway there, right? So let's go with Roy tonight. You're going to go Fremont? Then I'll go Fremont fair just enough. to uh, make it fair, all right? All right. All right, this game is going to be broadcast over on live.ksl.com, Jeremiah. The last three meetings have been decided by four points. We're expecting the same kind of game tonight. Fremont's out on the field with 2.45 left before kickoff. Roy is about ready to make an entrance here and get this thing started. So we've had a great half hour here, and there are the Roy Royals, and we're about ready for kickoff. We'll see you over on live.ksl.com. Jeremiah, say goodnight. <laughs> see you. See you over on ksl.com. Then we'll see you tonight at 10.